hundreds of students, faculty, and staff descended on the Technology Education Center patio to catch a glimpse of the April 8th solar eclipse. Volunteers from the Emil Bueller Trust Observatory, in conjunction with the STEM program, hosted a safe, direct viewing of the event with solar telescopes. We spoke with Professor Dr. Joe Sivo. It's nice to see through a set of uh, solar glasses, but it's even nicer to see through a telescope because you're seeing uh, you're seeing the features of the sun and also the moon covering the sun. So you get to see sunspots, spicules, flares, prominences, all these exciting things on the sun. You get to see with a solar scope. Biology student Liliana Hopkins has earned entry into the Governor's STEM Scholars Program, a state-funded initiative that pairs a college mentor with a team of high school students to conduct scientific research about a problem and design a solution based on United Nations sustainability goals. Hopkins led a group of high school students to conduct a research project, the microbial fuel cell. Since the Hackensack River is widely known to be contaminated with all kinds of heavy metals and hazardous organic compounds, um, we wanted to design a solution that could be a part of the remediation process for that, which is currently ongoing. So it kind of does two things. It degrades hazardous compounds and also generates clean energy. Hopkins also mentors for Turning Point, a program that supports students with intellectual disabilities and hopes to earn her doctorate in biology prior to pursuing a career in science policy. U.S. Senator Cory Booker has secured $75,000 in federal funds for the Business Accelerator's Latinx CEO program. The college will leverage the funding to broaden the scope of Latinx CEO, which offers skill building workshops, internships, and industry recognized certifications for students. The program launched last year as a workforce development initiative that targets underrepresentation in the workplace. In celebration of Asian Heritage Month, keynote speaker Josephine No, a visual effects professional who worked on the Barbie movie, told stories from her career, encouraged students to pursue their dreams, and shared her thoughts on working on the cultural phenomenon known as Barbie. When there's a, a piece like that, yeah, there's so many interpretations. And for such a positive impact and message that it did convey that it was something I wasn't even prepared for. I, when I watched it for the first time, I got a bit teary-eyed myself. Academic coaches Mana Mehezadeh and Dr. Dania Nasser have earned the Association of Coaching and Tutoring Professionals Academic Coach of the Year Award. The honor recognizes the outstanding contributions of professional coaches from throughout the country. Academic Coaching Supervisor Kelly Hayes said the coaches are incredibly deserving. It was really an easy decision to nominate both Dania and Mana. Um, they are both such incredibly uh, devoted, uh, committed coaches. Given the disastrous impacts of fentanyl on young people, the Student Government Association has developed an awareness campaign to educate students on its effects, which recently brought Bergen County prosecutor Mark Masella to campus. Fentanyl is killing young people in, in Bergen County at an alarming rate, so I'm sounding the alarms and I'm, I'm ringing the bell um, that we have, to, we have to raise awareness to this issue. Biology and Horticulture Department joined with members of Phi Theta Kappa to dedicate a walkway outside Enter Hall in honor of Silent Spring author and environmentalist Rachel Carson, who is credited with awakening the public on the negative effects of pesticides. The unveiling signaled the beginning of Bergen's Earth Week events. Student Micah Mendoza discussed how the walkway impacts the community. Instead of like just um, you know, doing lectures and and letters. We're, we're here to like make it fun. Finally, for the second consecutive year, Ergen has earned a spot on Diverse Issues in Higher Education Magazine's Most Promising Places to Work in Community Colleges. Only 18 institutions from across the country earned the designation. Time's up for now. We'll see you next month on Studio Bergen Remix. We'll